Hi everybody, Ruben here with my Unit 5 form response. Um, after watching this video about this kid Ezra, uh, it was pretty inspiring, one of those uh, feel-good stories. Um, and just want to commend uh, Pal Gasol, definite kudos to him and not just him but all the professional athletes that they go out of their way, take a few minutes out of their day and to spend time with some of these kids that idolize them and look up to their their um, favorite athletes. Um, I wish more athletes would do it. I think a lot do, but there could never be enough of that to go around. It's just something that these kids will cherish for the rest of their lives, and something they'll never forget. Um, and it can go a long way. As far as the prompts here, identify what part of your story needs to be shared with others so they can too can be inspired uh, I don't know I was trying to think of something inspirational but a few things I can think of is just me as a high school kid you know I'm, I'm a high school coach I teach elementary right now um, but just talking to my high school players I tell them what I went through I wasn't the best of students and honestly didn't really like school when I was in high school uh, at the same time we weren't really pushed too much college wasn't a big thing that big topic that people would talk about and we weren't really pushed too much to go to college like they are nowadays but um, some of the things I tell them is you know I was basically like a B minus C plus student didn't really apply myself too much uh, but when got close to graduation time I was like wow what am I gonna do with the rest of my life most of my friends weren't planning on going to college um, a few did but not too many um, so I started thinking man what am I gonna do but luckily my brother convinced me he's like you like playing soccer why don't you go to the junior college and play there so I ended up going there a um, couple guys from my high school win also um, so I played a couple years junior college and from there I started actually started to apply myself and started thinking more about college this isn't too bad it's kind of fun it wasn't you know was, you're on your own time nobody's telling you what to do so you kind of had to push yourself and which I did and then ended up finding out what I had to do with through a counselor find out what I had to do to go to university and then from there I did really well in my junior college soccer team, so I got um, a few offers to go to university level, which I ended up doing, and ended up playing Division One soccer, and then did pretty good. I ended up graduating from college, obviously, and uh, from there, you know, got a career. Now I'm making good money. Um, gonna make better money once I finish this master's, but. Um, a lot of my other friends, I go back home and, you know, go visit my parents and see some of my old friends. And, you know, they're doing just different odd and end jobs and construction and stuff like that. And I look back and say, wow, thank God I didn't take that route. Luckily, <clears throat> I went to college and made something of myself. So I just think that in itself is just trying to convince and um, inspire kids to go to college because another thing I tell them is college was the best time of my life it's the funnest time I, I joined a fraternity and did all that stuff and it was just a good time and met a lot of people um, opened a lot of doors for me so something I think nowadays kids are pushed a lot more to go to college and it's something it's in their head and their minds and hopefully more kids will go because nowadays without a college degree it's not much you can do but so I think that's that part um, what area of physical education and sport do we need to be more accepting of each other's diversity um, uh, in PE Let's see, um, 
And I think the important thing is just for the kids to have fun and for it to be enjoyable and not so competitive. And I think a lot of times in PE, the, the athletes kind of um, take over and some of the kids that aren't as athletic or as, as competitive um, are kind of pushed aside or they're kind of, you know, they don't apply themselves. They're kind of embarrassed to even try because they're not as good as other athletes. So I think just in PE, it should be more about having fun and not um, excluding those kids that aren't as athletic or they're not as fortunate and as athletically inclined as some of the other athletes. But as far as sports and diversity, I think um, one of the things that needs to be more accepting, I think, is in leadership roles, especially in prof professional and collegiate levels. Obviously in the NFL, the NFL is made up of a very high percentage, I forgot what the percentage was, but very high percentage of African American athletes. But then when it comes to leadership roles, there's not very many head coaches or even assistant coaches. Now there are more, but definitely not enough. Um, and all, all the other professional sports basically too, but NFL is a big one. Um, and then also I think the diversity with um, female coaches and college sports, college women's sports, a lot of the coaches are males and athletic directors are males. There's really not that many female coaches out there. I think there definitely needs to be more of that. Um, as far as other sports, I know European football or soccer, um, definitely to be more accepting of other races. Um, in Europe, if you guys don't know, it's very racist. As far as um, African American or black athletes, um, a lot of the European fans are not accepting of of um, black or African American athletes. Um, so I think that definitely needs to be more. They definitely need to be more accepting of other races. Um, and I think that's about it. Thanks.